Seth Rogen had some interesting things to say about his choice to remain child free. In a recent podcast interview, he said that not being a parent helped him succeed. What do you think, Kiana? What do you think? I mean, I, I get it because, especially being in the, in the industry, I know that having children, like, it's a, it's a big sacrifice. You know, your time, your freedom. Um, your body. Your body, <laughs> exactly, being a woman, your body. Um, so, I mean, I do like that he was he's speaking so openly about that, and I think it'll hopefully help a lot of people feel seen. Um, and I also love that in the interview where he did say that, it was a man asking another man, which oh, is not something... Yeah. Normally, I feel like as women, yeah. we get asked those questions. So I did like that that was kind of shifting the narrative a bit and asking a man that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? I, I mean, listen, I, I, I was joking, but not joking about all of those things, because you're absolutely right about all of those things. Um, but what's interesting to me is he's, I think, just 40. I think his wife is just about 41. And even though I know he's a big Hollywood superstar, multimillionaire, but it's it's happening more and more where so many people, and especially women, they're hitting their stride with their career and independence later and later and later in life, right? We're getting married later. We're having children later. If you choose to have children or can have children. And just when you've got it all together and you're like, I'm ready, then all of a sudden, like, your eggs are kaput. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so what I think is interesting here is it's great for him to say that. I would also love to hear what his wife have to say about that. Apparently, she's also in the industry that maybe, obviously, she doesn't want children either. Or maybe, maybe they can't have them, which is mm -hmm. another question. But let's say they can. What's a nasty trick that Mother Nature plays on us is let's say next year, all of a sudden, they're like, you know, We'd like to have children. Mother Nature is going to have a nasty, nasty little trick up her sleeve, especially for his wife. He will he can make babies until whenever. So what is interesting to me is that portion of it is, yeah, we're only hitting our stride at, at 40. I'm 45, and I still feel like I'm just getting started. Mm -hmm. and, and I have my daughter, but we know it is hard to juggle a child. And I got one, yeah. right? It is hard to juggle. And if you still want to be ambitious, sometimes those two things are at odds with each other. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I do appreciate him saying this too, for all the reasons you said. Um, I, I'm interested in the reaction from media because I think if a woman came out and said this in such a passionate way, being like, I can't be successful, and be a parent, I think that people will come for her. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I think the reaction online, as far as I can tell, has been quite positive towards Seth, so that's something to Why make would note they of. What would they come at I her for? I think that people feel much more, um, and I think women are guilty of this, it, mothers are guilty of this. They think like, oh no, you can't possibly have a rewarding, happy life without having children, that that's the mm -hmm. piece that completes. And I think that comes from a good place, but I think it's misdirected. Mm -hmm. I think that you can absolutely have a happy and, you know, whatever you define success as, successful life without having children completely. The way it was described to me before I ever had kids was the process of having kids is like when you start out, I like this analogy, you start out and it's like your emotional range goes from like this is the highest high you'll ever experience and this is the lowest low. And when you have a child, it just goes like this. <laughs> so the highest high is way higher, maybe, and the lowest low is potentially way worse. And so I think, I, I, I think this idea, though, that you have kids and you do it because you don't want to be alone in older life, which a lot of people also say, that you won't be happy later on down in life. I don't know if that's true. There was somebody responding to this story online, and she was somebody who worked in an old... Um, uh, an elderly care home. Like a long-term care home. Long-term care home. And she said that she repeatedly had seen people in their old age... Um, with children who weren't coming to visit and they were so sad. And conversely, she had met a number of like very, very uh, vibrant women in those same who had said like, I traveled, I chose not to get married, I had this amazing experience. And they were telling stories of their incredible life. And I just think we need to like present all of the options. Yes. So people can think carefully and not think that they have to do one thing in order to enjoy life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.